Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. Damn, son. Trusty trussel. What we're going to talk about today is the new limits of Louisiana speckled trout. Right, guys, trout are running pretty large. We're going to mix it up. Use the four-inch mega matrix. Try to catch some of these bigger trout. And when you're using the four-inch matrix, when you go to our Golden Eye page or one of your stores. Make sure you use the, uh, get a four-aught hook. We got the four-aught heavy wire bullseye hook. That's what I like to use on here. Three-eighths or half ounce. Just make sure it's a four-aught as the um, lure is a little bit bigger. And you're just gonna thread it on just like a matrix. Just like so, right there. Make it nice and straight. Got the Creole. Caught that first trout. On what we've been using here on the bridges, the old X shad. But these fish are getting bigger and bigger as we get more into the winter time. Today's a really warm winter day. Water's gin clear still. But the new limits um, here in Louisiana, it just got proposed and just changing over to where you can only keep 15 per person, which here where we fish is, we don't really do that all that often anyway, but we do catch some really nice fish and they're only allowing two trout over 20 inches. So whatever we catch today, we're gonna measure them, kind of go over if you'd be able to keep it, see if we can catch our limit or come close to it today and see what this big mega matrix can do. here on that mega matrix baby so this fish right here isn't a monster but it's a good quality pretty typical average trout for the trestle this would definitely be in the new slot Louisiana slot at 13 to 20 inches these 15 to 18 inch fish, I really highly recommend that four inch mega when you're on those nicer trout, especially these Pontchartrain trout, they call them the World Series trout. Use that four inch mega guys, I'm telling you, it really helps. one I know he's over 13 inches but I'm just kind of curious because I've never I'm kind of new to this rule just like everybody else is gonna be and what does a 13 incher really look like I can eyeball a 12 incher really easy let's see what a 13 all right that fish is just under 15 inches perfect size keeper for the slot 
what tells me to start coming out here and trying the bridge? A couple different things. One, I want to start seeing some wounds in the water. That's the birds, they're the ducks, I guess they are, that go underwater. And they come in the wintertime, and that's, you know, they call these the World Series trout, but Sometimes they show up before the World Series, sometimes it's right after the World Series, sometimes it's after the World Series. This year, the first run, which is what we're on right now, it's well after the World Series, so they're a little bit late. I also want to see my depth finder touch 65 degrees at least one time. Like, I needed to get down to 65 at least for a little bit. I would say my favorite temperature out here is about 60, when it stays in there consistently. But when I see it hit 65 for the first time, that tells me to start coming out here and checking it. Now, as you can see, I'll turn the boat a little bit so you can see down the bridge. There isn't a boat in sight, it's not a one. I've seen a boat come in here and there, but it is rare you get the bridge like this. Now. The reason a lot of times when we shoot dockside TVs, it's not too crowded out here, is because I'm constant. But I see those couple of things come into play that I just described that I'm looking for. And when I see a few wounds around, or I see my water temperature hit the 65 mark, I just start coming and checking it. I don't I wait for nobody to tell me that they caught some here or anything like that. I start checking it because my absolute favorite time to fish out here is that first wave of fish because you get it all to yourself and once the bridges get super crowded i typically go look for other greener you know something different than you know being in the mix with a lot of boats but i like to make these videos to show you guys just how to do it and techniques and ever and we usually air this whenever the trestle is kind of like at its peak and try to give some advice on how to do it what we're going to talk about today is just the new limits and which really is going to be tricky for the trestle here because the limits there it is because these fish sometimes aren't really in that 20 inch range sometimes they're almost a lot of them are way bigger this one's going to be so this looks like a really pretty fish you know, and a lot of people are worried, like, man, I'm only going to be able to keep two over 20. Well, let me tell you, a 20 inch is a big trout. I'm going to keep tattooed that Creole. 20 inch is a big trout. Let's put a measurement on this one right here. That one's almost 19 inches. Let's go ahead and pop a tag in this one, release him. We'll treat him like he's over 20, which although I could keep two over 20, but that's really a great day if you're by yourself and you catch two trout over 20 inches and you have 15 trout. Now, I surely hope this doesn't mess up some people's businesses and stuff that are, all they do is catch like 12 inches or all they do is catch over 20s or their clients really want to catch 25 trout a day, but it is what, what it is, and sometimes we just got to roll with the punches. The one thing that I can guarantee that's always going to happen is change. I have seen so much change just in my little 25 years of doing this that it's always going to have change. And look, we've had a long, long time of having these limits the exact same where all of our neighboring states have been doing a lot of different things so look i'm gonna let this one go it's got the blue matrix tag in there remember if you can come out here recapture that fish with the blue tag call that number on there win a prize from matrixshed.com but back to what i was saying about these limits is I talk to a lot of different people that are on both sides of the fence with it. I personally, it is what it is. I mean, 
there's times where all we do is catch 11, 12, 12 and a half inch trout for weeks to months on at a time. That's going to kind of stink when it's really hard to catch a 13 incher. Those months are usually like September, October. I have times where all I catch is 18 to 22 inches. Those times are more like now, December, January. April can be that way. Um, but as you guys see, a lot of times when we're catching nice, like the nice ones, I'll let the bigger ones go anyway. So it is what it is. But I mean, I totally get it with certain estuaries, you know, certain marinas that are, that, you know, their livelihood is based on trying to, you know, selling 100, 200, 300 shrimp to a, a boat because that boat's used to be able to catch 50 to 100, 125 trout. Do they start selling less shrimp now? Maybe. I don't know. I hope not. You know, I don't want that. I don't want the, the changes in the uh, limits to, to alter anybody's business for sure. It could even alter ours. Maybe people don't need as much tackle now because they don't need to catch as many fish. I don't know. Only time's going to tell how it plays out. But on the other hand, we are the only state that hasn't done anything in a long time uh, with speckled trout or redfish. And I just feel like when all your neighboring states are doing things, we might want to look at our stock assessment numbers or how, look, I'm no biologist by no means, but the one thing that I can tell you is the fishing is far from e as easy as it used to be when I was younger. And the biggest thing is we catch one twentieth of the big trout that we used to here in Pontchartrain. Now, is that because of the fresh water that we get from the river a lot in the last decade? Absolutely. You know, coastal loss, absolutely. But it is what it is, guys. They're changing the limit. I hope it doesn't affect anybody. And, you know, 15 fish is still plenty for us to come out here and catch. And two over 20, I feel like, you know, when we're on them big ones, we still should be able to keep plenty of nice fish. So they're talking about changing the redfish limits also. I'm not really sure what that's going to be, but times are changing. And I hope, I just hope it doesn't affect people's businesses or anything like that. As far as putting meat in the fridge and the freezer, I can't see it really doing too much different with that. But I hope it just doesn't mess up people's businesses. Now when the tide's real chill like this and not moving too fast, you can fish both sides of the bridge. But when it's really peeling in or peeling out, you kind of stuck to one side. With a jig head, you always want to be casting into the current. Now if you're using this new age stuff, drop shots, uh, Carolina rigs, things like that, and I call them new age, they've been around forever, but kind of making its way here in the south, saltwater fishing. Those tend to be a little bit better on the, you know, the up current side, on the back side. The lure kind of drags against the current more, gives it a little bit more action. So just depending on what style you're fishing. Like if you're using a drop shot, I like it on the west side if it's falling. But if you're using a jig head, like we normally do, always like to throw into the current. Oh yeah. That's a good one. That's why you use the Mega right there. Let me turn this boat as I know the sun's in your eyes. So like I was just saying before, this tide's just slow enough to where you can fish both sides. So what I'm noticing, I got a pretty tight location of where I'm getting bites. So I was on the fallen tide side. Now I came to the west side, same area and bam, it's a good fish right there. Let's pop a tag in this guy. Big, beautiful, healthy trout. Got another matrix tag in there. 
shoot him straight down. That way that oxygen goes right through his gills. Recapture that fish. One of the products of matrixshed.com. Another big beauty. Let me go ahead and pop a tag in this one. All right, let's get a measurement on that one. So that dude is right under 19 inches. So that would be in the new slot. So you could keep all 15 that size, but we're letting them go today. Matrix tag in there. Off he goes to see. Recapture that tag from matrixshare.com. Call the number on there and win a prize. Another good one. Another good one. Let that one go. Letting just about all of them go today. Let's get a measurement on this one real quick. 18. Again, I mean, who wouldn't take 15 of those? Beautiful fish. But when you, so I'm on the backside now, which most of the videos you guys see me, get this right, see me do, I'm, I really like the down current side, but I'm, the tide's not moving that hard. And when you're fishing the up current side, it's pretty much the same thing. Just don't cast it real, real, real close to the bridge because you don't want the lure to get sucked with the tide up under the bridge and get snagged. So I'll kind of angle it away from the bridge a little bit because the current's just going to naturally bring it towards the bridge. And you just kind of bounce it the same way. It's a little bit harder for it to get to the bottom on this side just because as you lift up the lure, the tide's pulling it the other way and it, you got to really pay attention to get it down to the bottom on this side. This side is a lot better if you like using Carolina rigs or drop shots. But just, um, you know, pay close attention, let it get back down to the bottom. And you can only do this when the current's nice and mellow. You don't want to do this if, it, if the current's really rolling. in that west side let me put this fish up this would be in the slot right here let's see i'll tell you exactly what it is 16 incher so every fish we've caught so far even though there's a really nice trout they've all been in the new slot limit under the 20 inch mark Do I need the net? It's close. Let's play this one safe. That's what I'm talking about. That's a big girl. Now that is a beautiful fish. Mega Matrix Shrimp Creole. Awesome bait. Perfect for the big girls like this right here. Just pop the tag in her. Let's get a measurement on it. It's 
21 inches. This one with the new limits, you would not be able to keep if you already had two. Let's let this big girl go, beautiful fish. Swam right out my hands, just like we like it. Whew. It's a fun day, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. Going over the new regulations of speckle trout, Louisiana. We had to abide by them here today. Almost every fish was in the slot. Had that one over. Could have kept it if I wanted to. As I, that was my first one over 20 inches. Um, I would imagine if I wanted to fish till dark, I probably could get my limit of not only the 15 fish per person, but also two over the uh, 20 inch mark, which would mean 13 fish under 20 with the two overs for a true new Louisiana lemon. Make sure to subscribe to the monthly bait box. Get your hands on these mega matrix in multiple colors. Today was the Creole. We'll be sending that out to you subscription box holders. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is our first one with the new Louisiana limits. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. And until next time, good fishing.